okay everyone so now today we'll be doing box morphing and to do that first we need to create a surface off of uh, try lofting and change it to high quality now we can assign this as a surface very surface so set this one as a surface and then you can go to the surface box and here assign a surface box for this surface so surface box mm. uh, at this surface but now as you can see we need a domain so to do that we can uh, construct a divide domain square where is divide domain okay and we can have the surface as a domain and we can divide it into let's say 25 UNV I mean it doesn't really matter but just for now now we can do morph a box onto it so to do that we can do box morphing box so this is our target but we need one geometry that is assigned as a component that can be morphed onto this larger surface so to do that we can create one geometry into grasshopper uh, into rhino sorry so let's say this is our shape uh, I want it to be a little small so we can assign this as a geometry set one geometry and now we can create a bounding box around it so why we need a bounding box because if we assign this geometry directly it doesn't uh, consider it because we don't have a target source for it so I'll place this as a content so now we have a box around our component that we want to morph onto this larger surface and so this box becomes our reference source and this is the geometry that we want to morph onto this so you see now that particular shape has been morphed onto a larger surface but let's say you change your mind and you want to try a, a different geometry so you clear the value you set set one geometry and oh my computer is frozen so let me pause and I'll get back to you so yeah see now the shape has been changed to a circle I mean sphere you can make you and we different so that way our panelization is different my computer is slightly slow so bear with me and I'll fast forward through this process so yeah uh, after completing it you see now the panels are even further dense and yeah you can try different geometries and you can morph onto the surface you can create your own surface uh, you can rebuild the surface with let's say 10 and 10 UNV you can do and let's say 
you want to manipulate it do something change some points so on and so forth you know I don't like that shape but yeah and then so now here instead of this you can disconnect it from here set one surface that's our new surface and and after completing the process this is how it looks you can hide the surface and yeah so that's it with box morphing tools I hope you like this video and try it out